Hi, my name is Joe Lucas, and this is my story as a code inspector. I had a, a tall grass and weeds case at a property um, in my district, and I went to uh, the property and, and I was looking and in, in doing my investigation, and I, I found there was a violation of tall grass and weeds at the property. Uh, so I do what I always do. I saw some neighbors are walking around and talked to neighbors and um, found out that the homeowner was, um, according to them, had been deceased uh, since uh, or several months before this complaint came in. So I did my uh, what we normally do, send a notice of violation, and of course it was never signed for. So I would uh, have to go post the property and. Uh, that generated when I when I put a stake in the front yard with a notice of violation and a nice crisp little clear envelope in the front yard that generated several phone calls to me from other neighbors indicating that the uh, the homeowner was deceased uh, so I took that information based on the name and, and um, um, I used to be a police officer so I still have some contacts at the police department and I called the contact over in the homicide unit and confirmed that uh, there was a deceased uh, person um, from that residence that they worked, um, and I was really looking for uh, somebody that would be responsible for that property after that. So I confirmed after that with the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office that um, she, the property owner was deceased, and there was no next of kin listed with them either. The grass was actually mowed by neighbors, we um, closed out our case and I just I've drive through that neighborhood frequently in in my times uh, driving through I would just drive by and uh, for well over a year and you know somebody kept mowing the grass in the front yard at least uh, with no more real complaints on it and then oh, this is well over a year and like three months later I was driving through that neighborhood and I saw a dumpster out front in the driveway and some people were working on that house and I was thinking, well, somebody's finally purchased this house because I never saw it on any kind of Travis County um, foreclosure list or uh, we, we routinely check that. I, I routinely check that to see if I have any properties that are on that list that they're auctioning off. And I never saw that address on there. So I went back to the Travis County website and searched the uh, county clerk records and I saw that um, there was no sale from the county on that address, but there were a couple of documents that were done not too long ago, and I read the document, and one of them was a durable power of attorney, and it was giving the homeowner um, power of attorney over any kind of financial decisions that she made. And this document was signed and notarized, and I found that the homeowner had signed this uh, about a year and a half after she had been deceased and it was notarized so um, I told my supervisors about it and I said I, th I think this is a um, obvious case of fraud so I asked for permission to make a police report with the Austin Police Department and I was granted that so we have to check first and make sure we're not doing anything we're not supposed to do so I made a police report um, and it was followed up by the Austin Police Department White Collar Crimes Unit um, and found out that the documents that were listed with Travis County were forged um, and the decedent was never signed these documents and the house was uh, eventually sold to an investor company and they were starting, when I saw the activity at the house, they were actually starting to clean it up and prepare to flip it. Uh, the White Collar Crime Unit um, pursued the uh, person that was given the power of attorney and they uh, filed charges against uh, that person for uh, a fraud or something. I know the house sold for $140,000 and um, I was advised by the police department that they were able to seize that money and, and stop it from uh, getting to the, um, to the person that frauded the estate. I believe the property probably really belongs to the County of Travis, um, and it was you know purchased through fraud. So um, it, at this time, all I know is they've they've charged the fee, uh, a person for it, and it's pending court. But uh, everything is um, everything is stopped at the moment.
the code violations were for the tall grass and weeds was all the only violations that I had because I could never get into the property. Um, but, but as my understanding, neighbors have just been constantly uh, keeping up with the property, um, mowing it when it needs it, and therefore my violations were closed. Um, and the only thing pending now is the police department's uh, charges.